All right, one more time, I'm going to show you guys how to do this video with Screencastify. So you need to have four tabs already open here at school. So if you go home, you can get on Ancestry Classroom. All right, so you have to start with someone who's alive before 1940. So I'm going to type in William Hillard Collins, who is my grandfather, lived in Leeds, Jefferson County, Alabama, he was born in 1930. So he should be 10 years old in the 1940 census where he's living with his parents. So I don't want to click on somebody else's family tree. Census and voter list. I need to find the 1940 census. William H. Collins, hover over it and scroll down. There's Tom Collins, that's his dad, 36 years old in 1940. Okay, go to my next browser. Now I'm looking for Tom Collins and I'm spelling his name differently because I know that's how it shows up the 1910 census. He lived in Leeds. He was born in 1903. Here it is right here, 1910 census. Tom Collins, father's name, Sam H. Collins. And I'm going to scroll down. Sam is 50 years old in 1910, which means he was born about 1860. So now I come here. Samuel H. Collins lived in Shelby County, Alabama because they moved from Vandiver to Leeds at some point. I know he was born in 1859, exactly. So there'll be two census records I can find him on with his dad, 1870 and 1860. Here's the 1870 census. Samuel H. Collins, living with William H. Collins, 38. That means he was born in 1832. He was actually born in 1836. Here's the 1860 census. Sam Collins, William H. Collins, Nancy Collins. So that's my fourth generation. So I come back. Grandfather, great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather, Sam H. Collins, and then his father right here in 1860 is William H. Collins, if this will pull up. William H. Collins right there, and that's it.